to Aussie here again. So today, what I thought I would do is go live, have a little bit of a chat with you guys, because I haven't been doing it much lately. But what I did was, if you can you notice by the title, I got Day 9 McDonald's. Actually, I should have checked it before I left. Two quarter pounder small meal, which has two quarter pounders, two small fries, and two drinks. One, two. So just let me get in here. I've actually, I'm sitting in the car park near Audi. I don't know if you can see the sign there. <laughs> I love Audi, you all know that. So I'm just going to try and get in onto the live and then I'll be able to see you what people are saying. So who we got here? Aviation Prav, how you going? Flame Crew, good day. <laughs> That's good. Uh, that sounds good to me. I've had someone else do something like that too. They use one of my some of my footage from a pimped out burger. Tempsty Jade, we love you. I love you too. Now, guys, I'll get the food out because you know this is what it's all about. Now. What I want to do is because I know you guys will hear it and whoever comes later might hear it. I'll talk about it again. But my biggest thing today was about I wanted to get this $8 meal, two quarter pounders and two fries and two drinks, small. But this, Saturday, 16th of November, next week, Mac Happy Day. Great cause. And when you buy a Big Mac, $2 of that Big Mac money goes towards Ronald McDonald House. So... It's a great charity. Here's my fries. The stuff's get starting to get a little bit cold now. But I wanted to say that early in the piece because this will upload as a video and then if anyone watches it, can remember about my happy day and get behind it. I'll be doing it myself. That box doesn't look very big. So got all the food here. Now I just got to eat it all. No fries in there, that's good. Sorry about that noise, guys. Ricky's Place, hi, how are you? I'm actually going live early. I was thinking about going later tonight, but I thought I'd go a bit early. I've been out and about. Been to my favourite place, the Audi over here, as you can see. Fries are getting a bit cold. So guys, if you've still time, if you want to get it for dinner or something, two quarter pounders, two small fries, and two drinks. Get a fluff on there, we don't want the fluff. So what I'll do is I'll just, actually I might put both up there, just better hope they don't fall. There we go, there's all the food. Put one on each side, let it balance, and then we can also see McHappy Day. Mr. Beard, how are you mate? Oh, sorry, Mr. Speed. I didn't think that was Mr. Beard's symbol. Bob Blanton. How are you, mate? Now, I only listen to 80s metal. or not just 80s, but mostly 80s metal. I asked Bob. I actually found a new band, because you always ask me about things. I don't know if they're new. Well, they're not that new. But I found this band called Sumo Psycho. Check them out. They're pretty good. I got a girl singer. She's really good. Elizabeth Rickard, hi, how are you? Thought I'd have a bit of, a bit of an early one. See you for half an hour and have a chat to people. So, Elizabeth, you may not know because you're not in Oz, but we have at the moment at Macca's, McDonald's, Mickey D's, however you like to say it. Um, that's why I put Macca's in the title. We have 30 days of deals, 30 deals for 30 days from the beginning of November. Till the end of November, of course, 30 days in November. Today's deal was a beauty that I wanted to get. Two quarter pounders, two small fries, and I won't lift that one up in case it unbalances. Oh, actually, I will, I'll hold it. Two small drinks, Coke, Fanta, Sprite, whatever you like. So that's what we're eating today. 
Tell him you said hi. Actually, I might see him tonight. I'm not sure if he's back back with me tonight. What he's doing, I will tell him, dude. Julie, Julie, Jewel, hi. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's how you say it. Had it for brunch today. So good. Yeah, well, I think I'll eat one of these because it's starting to get cold. Then I'll get onto the burger and quarter pounder. There's two reasons why I wanted, well, three reasons actually why I wanted to do this today, which I've just said earlier. One of them, well, one is because I want to get this deal, eight bucks, because yesterday's was only one dollar cheeseburger. I'm not interested in that. I want to get this deal for dinner, eight bucks. Have a chat to you guys, which I, you know I love to do. And talk about a bit, about, a bit about my happy day next Saturday. So, and guys, I know a lot of people like Domino's and like other places may not like McDonald's or may not agree with McDonald's, but get in there and support the cause, the McHappy Day, because it's for Ronald McDonald House. They do a lot of good work and they're not sponsoring me to do this. I just think it's a great charity. And, you know, we eat so much takeaway. Every time you buy a Big Mac next Saturday, $2 of that Big Mac, even if it's full price, which it will be, will go towards their charity, which is a great thing. And... What I was going to say was, you don't actually have to go and buy anything either. You can just donate, and it doesn't have to be next Saturday. You can donate any time. The McDouble. I haven't, I don't think we have that. What do we have? I actually had a double big, oh, as if that's a double big Mac, I have had that. That was good. G'day Roopster, what's cracking? I noticed you uploaded another video. You're probably having a ride in that car. It sounded like something about you going for a ride. I didn't get a chance to do it because I had to get up here and do this. I actually did another video today, guys, which I'll probably post tomorrow. I know some states in Australia don't have Red Rooster or some places, but I went and got the Red Rooster waffle cone. And it's actually an actual waffle cone, like you put an ice cream put ice cream in a waffle cone and it's got chicken buttermilk pops whatever they call it's actually quite nice so let's get on to the burger here it is guys i must have sold a lot of these today What's it called again? Quarter pounder. Now, let me know. I know a lot of people don't like the pickle. And everything I've been eating lately hasn't had pickle. But I like the pickle. Let's have a look. Let's pretend we're doing like an actual video and reviewing the quarter pounder. Oh, man. Now, I thought there's supposed to be three pickles in a quarter pounder. I could be wrong, but I heard that somewhere. I'm only seeing one. Some onion. Sauce. Ketchup. Or tomato sauce, depending what country you're in. I'll call it tomato sauce. Uh, a couple of bits of cheese. Looking good. Quarter of a pound of beef. Beef patty. Sorry if I'm not reading your comments, guys, but it's a bit hard to do that. G'day, Gary Bartlett. G'day, Ufta. Sorry, I'm really sorry about that. I always think it says Ufta. I don't know why. Ufa, sorry. <laughs> it's just in my head, Ufta. You might have to change that name, dude. <laughs> Quarter pounds your favorite, Elizabeth. Well, I got two of your favorites here. This is a double meal for eight bucks. Now, you being in America, I know you guys see how expensive things are here, but because I got these deals on this month, for the whole month, 30 days, I got a good deal here, eight bucks. Two quarter pounders, two small fries, and two small drinks. What time is it where I am? It's um, 6.46. I'm a little bit late because I did do another video earlier, then I had to go shopping in my favorite place you can see in the background here.
Actually, Ricky, my son Liam, we got a double quarter pounder as well, Neil, and he loves them. That's his go-to burger. <laughs> and uh, he get, he'll get this probably today. He's out and about. I said to him, you're going to get the quarter pounder for eight bucks. But that's his favorite. McDonald's burger is a quarter pounder. The double is his most favorite. Yep, I love Aldi. And I've got Liam staying with me, so I need more food too. Is that noise? I think that's actually the wind. It's actually been windy, pretty windy the last couple of days here. <laughs> Not supposed to be eating chips like that. Maybe you better stop. So, I actually, like I just said, I did another video earlier, a couple of hours ago. So, I may possibly leave that one till later, for dinner later, and I'll heat it up. But I will eat the fries and have the drink. There's quite a bit of food. There's a new thing at Red Rooster called um, Chicken Waffle Cone. And they're actually quite good. I tried them today. <laughs> Today I'm just reviewing food all day. Actually for work, I'm not, I don't want to talk about that too much, but I had a bit of a mishap a few weeks ago and I don't have a job now. So I'm looking for work at the moment. After 10 years, I had I was working at a certain place for 10 years, but we won't go there. It's a long story. <laughs> so at the moment, I'm looking for work, but I'm also trying to get as much of this done as I can. Tell you what, there's some yahoos in this area with their cars. I guess I used to be like that when I was their age. My job situation from about a month ago, he's now unemployed. But after 10 years, I'm in the same job. But um, I'm still looking. I'm looking for a job. <laughs> Why did I get fired? We won't go there. Let's just say, I got a little bit cranky with someone. So I better drink some drink. Otherwise, I'm going to have too much drink here. So, who likes Big Macs? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, actually, Elizabeth, that was last week, I think, wasn't it? First time I've gone live for ages. Now I'm going again. I, I wanted to go tonight because my girlfriend, Liz, and believe it or not, I only call her Liz in the videos. I actually call her Elizabeth. <laughs> um, a lot of people call her Liz. She'd rather be called Elizabeth. But I just ham it up for the videos. I just call her Liz. <laughs> She's okay with that. Anyway, she was busy today. She had to go and see someone. So two weeks in a row, she's had to do stuff. But I don't know if I'll be able to go live again after that for a while. Always depends. If my son's home, I if he's not home, I can do it. But a lot of times he's home and, you know, trying to get things set up and all that. At least here in the car, all I have to do is get it ready, get the laptop, connect everything, and here we go. Maybe I should get out and go live in the car more. I 
Oh, I was only asking about the Big Macs because of what's happening next week. I don't know if you have Mac Happy Day in America or anywhere else in other countries, but you go by Liz. <laughs> yeah, I'm funny, my Elizabeth would rather be called Liz and everyone, uh, Elizabeth and everyone calls her Liz. So but she's okay with it. She just doesn't upset her, but she'd just rather be called Elizabeth. But, and then she calls called Lizzie and all that. I'm so sure you do too. But Mac, Mac Happy Day next Saturday, like I said, it's um, when you buy a Big Mac, you they, they put $2 of that money from the Big Mac towards the Ronald McDonald charity, Ronald McDonald House. But you don't actually have to buy a burger. You can always donate. And there's other bits and pieces they'll be selling on the day. So you can you can actually donate any day. It doesn't have to be Mac Happy Day. But if you go in and buy a burger, we'll probably go and do a video, me and Liam. If he's around, get some, some hamburgers. Support the cause. The Whopper from Burger King. Well... I don't know if you've seen, but a lot of Australians do um, Hungry Jacks. Now, Hungry Jacks originally was Burger King in Australia, and it still technically is as far as the burgers go and everything. And we do have the Whopper, and that's one of my favourites too. I, I like Hungry Jacks Whopper, and I like probably the double quarter pounder would be... No, actually, my two favourites are the ones that are the Aussie ones, like with egg on it, or the McFeast and things like that with tomato. But... Anyway, um, Hungry Jacks used to be called Burger King here, and then there was some legal thing, and then they had to change their name to Hungry Jacks, but they still do the same thing as um, Burger King. So we do have the Whopper here, and I love it too. Yeah, Whopper's not bad, but when I did a video a couple of weeks back, and I had the Whopper and the um, Rebel Whopper together to compare them, I was a bit whoppered out. <laughs> so, because it actually did taste a lot like the actual Whopper, the Rebel Whopper, which is a vegetarian patty, if in case you guys don't know. It's probably this, similar to your um, Impossible Whopper in America. How's the job hunting, brah? Uh, it's not going good, but I haven't been looking that much either. I'm just too busy making videos and eating food. I'm actually having a great time at the moment. I'll make the most of it while it lasts. <laughs> In a way, I am glad to be out of that shitty job. <clears throat> I'm enjoying myself more, that's for sure. Yeah, I think a lot of people in America, and it's a shame it had to happen like that. I think what I actually read up on it a while ago because I wasn't sure what was going on. I'm pretty sure there was um, when Hungry Jacks started. I remember that we used to have both, Burger King and Hungry Jacks. And I think that was as the names were changing. And I think what happened, I think it was in Queensland, someone had a fish and chip shop that was actually called Burger King. Elizabeth, please, are you rich or something? Thank you very much. I much appreciate it. <laughs> Can't believe it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Don't feel sorry for me because I haven't got a job because I actually got a bit of a payout too, which will last me a while until I find something. But thank you very much. Um, so what I was going to say, what I was saying was, I'm, I'm pretty sure, and correct me if I'm wrong if you're an Aussie, I'm pretty sure there was a place in Queensland, a fish and chip shop, like a hamburger joint, that was actually called Burger King already. So he took them to court and they had to change the name and they changed it to Hungry Jack. So... It really was Burger King to start with until that happened. Quite a while ago. She is so generous. And this is not the first time either. Thank you, Elizabeth. I'm speechless now. Actually, you know what, Elizabeth? I'm going to put that $40. I'm going to spend at least that much next Saturday because I'm rabbiting on about this McHappy Day. That $40, I'll probably match that and spend 80 bucks now on not maybe not just Big Macs, but there's other bits and pieces we can buy. I'm going to do a video. I'm going to give you a shout out on next Saturday and say we went, you, I matched your $40 and we put it towards McHappy Day. 
So we'll have an $80 worth of, I'll take the boys. If Jacob's around, he might be working there. Well, we could go later. I'll take the boys on my happy day. Oh no, it's Saturday. So take the boys, we'll spend 80 bucks. I'll shout them as many Big Macs as they want. We might even see if we can give them away. And $2 of every, that, every Big Mac of that $80 will go towards a charity. I better stop talking, I just bit my bloody tongue. Oh. And actually, believe it or not, you know, some of you guys know, because then Elizabeth knows too, you've been here with me for quite a while now in my ch with my channel. You know I got monetized a while ago, and partly that's why I was doing a lot of lives, to try and get lots of view time and get the time up. I had the subscribers. But when you get monetized, whether you, even if at my stage, I'm only probably posting videos pretty much every day. I'm only earning about $2 a day, and I've gotten up to $100 on uh youtube so i've made a hundred dollars and once you get to a hundred dollars you have then you set up your account to put it over they put it over after a hundred dollars so i'll tell you i just bit my tongue really badly then it's killing me anyway you're supposed to get a pin that they sent out to you and it's been sent out but i haven't got it yet so i can't actually get the money into my account yet i've got a hundred 106 dollars now i think so you don't make a lot of money unless you're a big youtuber but you know it's slowly happening but sometimes people give you money too, like Elizabeth just did. <laughs> and I really appreciate that. But um, I was actually planning on using that $100 to do a video on the Maccas and spend all that. But I can't get it across yet. So that'll help a lot. And we'll use that for next Saturday's video. I'm sure the boys will be happy to know they're going to get lots of food. Gee, that hurts. So guys, I'm not going to eat that one now, but I'm not going to waste it either. I'm going to take it home and heat it up later. As I was saying earlier, I had a couple of these waffle cone things. And they're actually the size of a of a normal ice cream cone with pop, chicken pops in them from Red Rooster up the road here. So I'm going to... Um, he's so painful, it bloody hurts. Um, I'm going to keep that one for later because I don't want to pig out too much. Put some cold coke on my tongue. You see that? <laughs> you know what, um, Paul, Paul Murray, I got the first one on the first day. You probably saw that video or you know it was out. I haven't had another one since because I don't really want to... Some people might have thought, and I said that in the first video, I'm not going to be eating Maccas for 30 days in a row. But I did make two videos today. I think you've just joined on and just now. I did make a Red Rooster one as well, so I've had a quite a bit to eat. But this one is a beauty, and I've told my son, Liam, he's out tonight. And I said to him, grab that one, and he probably will because he loves quarter pounders. He's out with his mate, Jacob. Which is this bloody train station you go to, Ben Coops? <laughs> you told me about that last week too. Can't be a real good place. Real dog fight. You should come and come to my station. It's nice and quiet. There's probably no one on the station. Do I watch Neighbours? No, I don't. Actually, don't watch TV. Well, even if I watch TV, I'm not that into Neighbours and Home and Away and that sort of thing. But... Oh, security guard's coming around in his car. I hope he doesn't come to see me. <laughs> You'll be wondering why this is an empty car park. No one's sitting here. They're all There's a few in Aldi over there, but that's just closed, I think. Anyway, I don't watch Neighbours, but it's been a long time since I watched that. But I don't watch much TV anymore, and with this YouTube channel, I'm just constantly on YouTube all the time. Even now I'm on YouTube. You're watching me, see? I'm, I'm the star tonight. Which feels doesn't really feel weird anymore. It just did at first, but it's fun now. I love it. Bring back Liam. I can't. He's gone out. He's 18 years old now. He wants to go out. He's actually gone to the club with his mate tonight, Jacob. I'd love to have both of them in the video, but it, 
There's sometimes though I do if he's asleep, I sneak off and do a video and don't tell him because um it's too much mucking around. I use my phone to film a lot, which I'm doing now. And if I set the phone up in certain spots in the car, it's not wide enough. So if he's with me, and you probably sometimes have noticed if he's with me in the car and we're doing a video, that it's not as good a quality. Sometimes this isn't this is better quality. Uh, we use the GoPro in the car, so it just depends what we're doing, what goes on. But most of the time, I like to use the phone because it's a better picture. Even when I was doing the lives at home, um, the one I posted yesterday from doing it inside at home, I'm using the phone as much as possible because I think it's a better picture. But he'll be back. He'll be back. Elizabeth will be back one day too. You never know. <laughs> you know, I know I get a bit boring after a while, but, you know, it's my channel. I've got to do it. <sighs> So we've got 18 people watching. That's pretty good. And, you know, that's, I like that because when I used to go live later at night, I never used to get many people here. And it's good when you guys are here and you're making comments and then I can have a chat to you. Yeah, you've got to work hard, Ricky, but my biggest mistake, I actually made it in the end, but... My biggest mistake was I was doing another channel before, just a bit of random stuff, mucking around, sort of a little bit like you, doing bits and pieces. And um, then I thought, I went on holidays for four weeks and I thought, why don't I start up another channel? And I was going to try and do two and I'm like, what am I doing? I didn't know what I was doing. That was a problem. But then, not long after I started this channel, they changed the rules. By now, I could have been monetized 10 times and I could have been monetized six months ago easily, but in the old system, but this time they make you work harder, but all I did was work harder. And like I said, I'm only probably making about $2 a day as long as I constantly upload stuff. It's costing me more to make the videos than it is to, to, um, that I'm getting. And I can't even collect that yet, even though it's there. But my thing has been, if I'm going to do a food, food channel, whether it's cheap stuff, expensive stuff, and you know, sometimes I get something that's a bit expensive and people say, oh, you must have more dollars and cents and all that sort of thing. But the next day, I'll get this for eight bucks or I get a $1 hamburger. You know, it all evens out. And even when I did that, I did a video a couple of weeks ago and I bought seven Domino's pizzas. Well, they cost me $3.90 each, which is pretty cheap. And I ate them for three days. Me and Liam ate that for three days, you know, like off and on. And I didn't have to buy any food for three days. So, you know, that's how it works. <laughs> McDonald's public toilet. Actually, I wasn't busting enough to go there before I thought about it, but I thought, no, I can wait, I can hang on. I'll pee in the bush if I have to on the way home. There's plenty of bush. <laughs> really and smoky and hazy. Well, a fella down in uh, Tasmania had a fire, and believe it or not, that's partly probably why Liam's not here tonight, where his mum lives further down from me. It wasn't a bushfire, but it became a bushfire. Someone's bloody house caught on fire. And they had to get evacuated out of that area because it was getting so close to everyone's house. So it's under control now, I think, but it's been really windy here. But I've seen further up north from here, from Sydney, there's northern, I think the north coast, there's fires everywhere. I just can't believe it. It's not even summer yet. But I guess because it's so dry and windy too. Yeah, high winds. Last two days, it's been bad here. And if I wasn't going live, like the video I did today, sometimes I do like to get out of the car. Like, I'm not, I don't sit in the car always because I want to do a video in the car. Sometimes I sit in the car because it's too windy and I don't want that noise of the wind in the mic. It's not good quality. And I'd rather sit in the car and make better sounding quality than uh, make, uh, make worse footage, a bit worse footage, than sit outside in a beautiful area where it's so windy it's nearly blowing you away and you're trying to hold all the food and everything. <laughs> Then lately it's just been off and on too much. I actually did see that, two deaths and five people missing. That is sad. And they were saying like, because they're missing, they could, that could be more people died. So I saw that, like I, like I said, I don't watch TV much, but looking on the phone and on the computer, a lot of times news story come up and a lot of it's trash too, of course, but you see things like that and it makes you have a look. So you do sort of keep up with it a bit, not watching TV. Oh, that Domino's video. Uh, now, that one, talking about Liam, he was inside. I was sitting on my back deck doing that. It was a good afternoon to do it. I quickly went and got him. I said, when I come back, we're doing a video. I need you to help me eat these things. I need you to help me review them. 
and he was inside playing Rainbow Siege and I couldn't get him off the thing and I thought, stuff it, I've got to do this now. I didn't want to eat cold pizzas for a start. I was all ready to go, I've done my intro. And then he came out about halfway through the video and came up behind the camera and bought a plate and I stopped the footage, that's where I stopped it. And I said, dude, I'm halfway through it. I've already eaten three parts of pizza. You can't be in it now. Just wait till I'm finished, then you can have pizza. As long as you eat some, that's all that matters because I've got seven bloody pizzas here. <laughs> but he was supposed to be in there with me and he was sitting inside <laughs> and he didn't do it. So sometimes it's not that I can't, I don't want Liam on the videos. Sometimes it's he doesn't want to be on the videos either. Tell you the truth, guys, he thinks my channel's trash. <laughs> and, but he does like to be there for the food sometimes, <laughs> depending on what I'm having. Yeah, I heard that too. California as well. Actually, no, I heard uh, California, something about earthquakes, that they're, they're expecting some earthquakes or something. Well, at least it wasn't Fortnite. No, nah, he's too old for Fortnite. You can't play Fortnite. He reckons he's got to be 13, 12, 13. But Fortnite, Siege, they're all playing something, aren't they? <laughs> but that's all right. That was funny. Um, somebody, I got their attention the other day. And I think they subscribed to me and I subscribed back to them. And they, their videos were about Fortnite. And I, and I actually, he was playing Rainbow Siege while I was watching this video of someone doing Fortnite and I, we subscribed to each other. And he commented back to me, this guy, and said, sorry about the content, it's a bit um, R-rated, like the swearing. He said, because I said to him, I'll get my son to have a look. I was just making a comment. And he goes, sorry, it's um, a bit R-rated. He's probably thinking my son's like a kid. My son, when I'm not around, I know he's in there swearing too. He just doesn't swear when I'm around. <laughs> I hear him all the time. So it's nothing he hasn't heard before. Sometimes I make comments saying maybe I should start playing Fortnite, but it's not going to happen really. It's not my thing to sit there doing computer games no matter how good, how bad. Although I do understand it a bit because when I was their age, like you know, even 12, 13, 17, 18, 20, we used to play poker, uh, not poker machines, what am I talking about? <coughs> Can't get in the club at 8, 15. Um, we used to play pinball machines a lot. That was our big thing. Space Invaders, Pac-Man. So I get that thing where you get hooked into playing a game, but um, these newer ones are not my thing. I know a lot of even older people play them, though, like middle-aged, older, whatever. See, that's what I'm saying. People don't have to always be teenagers or whatever, under 20 or whatever, to play these games. And it doesn't matter what game. It's just the younger ones seem to want to play the, the ones where you kill people. So I hope they're going to end up all right in the future and not go around killing people and become the next, you know, serial killers or mass murderers. murderers. But you got to wonder. Everything's about killing. And another thing I said to Liam was, how come in all these games are always running? Everyone's always running. It doesn't matter whether it's Fortnite, whether it's Siege, whether it's bloody... Red Dead Redemption, because watching YouTube, I don't play these games, but I see them. And it's like, they're always running. The character's always running. <laughs> Even in, um, what's the other one? Oh, I actually like the movie. What's it called? Um, Resident Evil. Even that, they're running. Everyone's running. Well, I don't, I don't blame them running for zombies, though. Yeah, Space Invaders, I got into that a lot. Pac-Man was all right. I, I liked it, but I wasn't really great at it but when we used to play the pinball machines there was a corner shop me and my friends used to go to we'd put however much it was in those days 10 cents 20 cents and we'd get free games all day you know we'd be there we wouldn't spend more than a dollar and they used to get cranky with us because we we're always getting we used to call it we got a pop which was a free game and um and sometimes you'd have a lucky number at the end even if you didn't win you get the lucky number and you get a free game and then the shopkeeper used to be like, he wanted to kick us out because we were, no one else could play. We we're always on the machine. <laughs> yeah, it probably was 20 cents a game, but we wouldn't go there with more than a dollar in 20 cent pieces to the shop. There was one pinball machine. We used to play the Kiss one. That was the best. I love that one. I still listen to Kiss too. They're great. But the Kiss machine, that was the best. And there was others. But then, even with them, as technology went on, I felt like, for me, I didn't mind playing the newer pinball machines, but when they started getting more flashier lights and more noises and more technological, like, more, I don't know what you call it, more advanced, really. The old-fashioned ones were really good. I liked them. 
But we used to play, go and play pool and that sort of thing too, in the snooker halls. And there used to be pinball machines and all that there. Yeah, we used to do the same sort of thing. I used to live not far from Sydney itself, the city, when I when I was younger. And there was a place down there, it was called Crystal Palace. And you go in there, they'd have all the pinball machines. There was pool tables, snooker tables. It was a really big place. Like, you don't see much of that sort of thing around now. Well, they're probably around, but not like that, because it's not a big thing. We used to love it. That used to be our big thing to go down there and do that sort of thing when we were younger. We loved it. Yep, it was so much fun, and now I am getting a lot like the kids, where you sit around on your ass all day. I'm not playing uh, video games and stuff. I started to a bit before I started doing the YouTube thing, and I used to get on the internet a lot and play poker, no, not poker machines, yeah, well, sort of poker machines, slot machines. Not for money, you could spend money, but I'd just wait till I got free credits. But I'd join all these ones, and I'd be playing for hours and just wasting my time. And that's all you really do, really waste your time, but... If you're having fun and then you've got nothing else to do, like, why not? But then I got onto YouTube and now I don't even play those things anymore. Go for some walks and film as I go. I tell you, I, I went down the road the other day and I was tempted to do that. I actually, if you saw the video I did last week where I bought that meat pie that was, I, I actually said world famous, it was actually just called famous. But that's not far from my place, and I did go for a walk down there because I hadn't been for a walk for ages. I'm just sitting on my bum all the time. I'm not working at the moment. I'm just going out doing YouTube things. But even if I'm going to Macca's or something like that, it's not close. I've got to drive. So I went for a walk down the road, did the pie thing, but I didn't film it as I was walking. And again, because it was a windy day, it wasn't very good out. It was a nice day, but it was windy. And then by the, by the time I got home, I sat out on the back deck and did it. The wind wasn't too bad, but it's also really noisy down there. It's near the highway. But I went for a walk. I should have probably filmed some of it. <laughs> then you guys will know where I am. You sort of probably do, but you'll recognize exactly where I am. <laughs> and, you know, I'm not knocking people who want to sit there and play games. I know from my son that there are a lot of people, it's like doing YouTube. Some people want to get somewhere. I know I'm getting monetized, but I'm not really up to that stage yet where I'm, I can make a living off it and that'd be great. Some people can make a living off just playing games too, like playing uh, Siege and all that sort of thing. So they, um, I've seen Liam shows, uh, watches the tournaments and all that sort of thing. They're making big money. Actually, what I might do here Take, get rid of this. Still got one drink and one hamburger left, but that's for later. I'll have that when I get home, or later when I get home. I'm going to put this up here, then I won't struggle seeing, because I'm having trouble seeing it down there. Voice recognition is messed up. I don't know about that, what that, what that actually is. But I tell you now, you know, you probably think that I know lots about YouTube and that because I'm getting monetized and all that thing sort of thing. But there's a lot of stuff I'm still learning. Even Liam knows a lot more than I do sometimes. But now I feel like that's too close. Uggy Bear. Well, Uggy Bear, I just missed your comment. It's a bit further back. I don't know why we don't have those things, but i tell you what, uh, I know you probably know too because you're mentioning them, but seeing Popeyes and all that, there's supposed to be a big hype about some burger over there or, or something. I know when you hear that stuff, you think you sort of want it here to give it a go. But, you know, it would be good if we could get it. But in and out too is another one. I wouldn't mind trying that. I see that a lot on... Uh, People doing mukbangs and things like that. But I have no idea why that could be. Maybe there isn't enough demand. I mean, America has so many more million people than Australia. Australia's a big country, but there's not as nowhere near as many people. So maybe that is the thing. Maybe there's not enough demand.
Yeah, sometimes things do taste bilby, do taste better <laughs> reheated. I always find when I make spaghetti at home myself, it always tastes better the next day. Fried rice is not too bad the next day either. Yeah, I heard um, about the Popeye's sandwich, whatever this new one is. Sometimes you just see bits and pieces of things because I'm doing other stuff, but I heard there are people having punch-ups over it and there's big lines and all this thing. You can't get one and then they sell out and all this stuff, which is understandable if it's so popular. Mm. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know where um, in and out is, but I would, you know, if they were here, I'd be trying to... Imagine how much I'd be eating if all these things were here. I thought the other thing too is I don't just do it because it's a bit expensive sometimes. Like today's meal was good. It was cheap. I got a $1 burger the other day. But I do want to do a little bit of home cooking, a little bit of like try the local stuff. Like I had the uh, the big hamburger with a lot the other day. That's my local kebab shop. And I actually do want to get a chicken kebab from there because even though I've had kebabs and gyros and all that sort of thing when I was younger, I've never actually, I don't think I've actually had just a chicken kebab. So I will try that one day. Just on dusk there, I'll tell you what, it's getting close here. The only thing is, this is another thing, good thing. This is the iPhone XS that I'm using, the one before the new one, before the 11. And it actually does pick up the light pretty good even when it's starting to get dark. So I can hang here for a little bit longer. It's the same, it's um, 718 here. You must be in Brisbane, did you say? Yeah, Brisbane. I know because Elizabeth's mother, Liz's mother, saying that now, it looks like the phone's gotten darker. <laughs> Liz's mother lives in Brisbane and when she goes up there every now and then and she rings me, she's always the hour different. So, Boida, you're here. You're here. Well, you might be a little bit late because I'm going to have to take off soon. It's getting dark. Ryan Smith, does Queensland still not have daylight savings? As far as I know, they don't. Actually, Elizabeth, like I said, Liz, is um, her mother's in Queensland, so... Sometimes she's ringing her earlier and then ringing me later when we're not seeing each other. Now, Peter, get behind McHappy Day next Saturday. We were just talking, I was talking about that earlier. I had the, you probably seen by the title, two times a uh, quarter pounder small meal today, eight bucks, but I wanted to talk a bit about that as well. McHappy Day. Now, earlier, Elizabeth Rickard donated 40 bucks to me, which was good, nice. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. But, Peter, we're gonna do a video next Saturday, which I plan on doing anyway. I'm gonna match that 40 bucks, and we're gonna go and spend 80 bucks at McDonald's. And $2 of every burger we buy goes towards McHappy Day, or towards Ronald McDonald's charity, which is a good cause. I'll just say it again, and I'm not sure if that happens in other countries. I think it might. Um, sick as a dog today. What's up, Peter? Got food poisoning, $80 feast. Now, if we don't spend all the $80 on burgers, there's, I noticed when I just went and got these because I went through the drive through you can get Happy Socks. Actually, you know what they have got? Um, Big Mac sauce that they're selling uh, just for that occasion. I think it was 12 bucks. I'm probably not going to buy that because I'll never use it. But they had other things like you can buy little bits and pieces to support McHappy Day. So, but we might just go with the burgers and see if we can eat 80 bucks worth of burgers. And if we can't, we'll go and give them to some people maybe, see what happens. Does that mean sore stomach? <laughs> Claw stomach. I think that means sore stomach. Well, I hope you feel better soon, Peter. So also, um, I put out a little post earlier. I'm gonna have to go soon because it is actually getting dark. And what's a bit of a problem here, I have to drive home very cautiously, and I knew this would happen, because I've got a bit of a drive home, and most of it's bush area, even though it's along the highway. There's always a good chance there's a few kangaroos around. And I know you guys in America hear about kangaroos, and you probably wonder, you know, you hear Aussies say, oh, they ride the kangaroos to kangaroos uh, to school and all that sort of thing. It's a lot of crap, but <laughs> there is always a good chance at night time that they'll jump across the road. And not just that I don't want to hit one and kill one, I don't want to damage my car either because they can do a lot of damage. So I might have to go soon and it is getting dark. I loved the McRib last month. Well, I did hear, I think Review Bra, Review Bra was reviewing that and I don't know if you keep up with him, but he actually had a little accident, oh, not a little accident, a big accident. And he's in hospital at the moment. I saw that yesterday. But um, 
The McRib will come back here again too. It always does. It probably does the same thing over there. Comes and goes. Yes, I, I've never hit a kangaroo yet, and I don't want to. I've hit a couple of possums, and I don't even want to do that. I'm, I'm not someone who likes to run over animals. But the other problem with, and there's also, I've seen a few dead wombats around lately in this area too, like coming back from here. And I've never usually seen many um, wombats. And if you hit one of them, it's not going to be too good either. But it's quite dry here in the moment. We've got a bit of water restrictions going on. And I think that's partly why they get out and about more. They're trying to look for water because there is none around. And they cross the highway a lot. Yes, and that's another thing, Elizabeth, like you're saying. I've heard stories where if you hit a kangaroo, and it probably would happen with a deer too, and it goes and it smashes the windscreen and goes in there, it could be kicking around and half dead, half alive in your car while, you, while you're driving. It's, not, it's going to be a bit dangerous too. But I'm not willing to find, I'll just drive slowly and I'll be looking at the road like that and with the high beams on. <laughs> It does scare me a bit, though. Oh, they probably are. We do have deers here, too, but you're not going to find them so much in this area. Um, but kangaroos, yes. I mean, I was actually up here, was it yesterday, the day before? I can't remember. And again, it wasn't this time. It was a little bit earlier. But you just, I seem to find that as it's getting darker towards dusk, you look along as you're going, like for, where there's properties or where there's a bit of a bush area or an open area. And sometimes you'll see them not too far from the road, just grazing along there. I think, but once it gets dark, that's when they get a bit like funny. It's a bit hard for them to know what's going on. A bit, bit disoriented, I suppose. So I do see them as I'm driving around. I haven't had too many go in front of me. And usually when I have, they've been at a fair distance away. So that's been good. But I still don't want to hit one. <laughs> local jacks how you going mate now guys 22 watching I, I think that's probably the biggest ever i was only planning going for about half an hour because it was starting to get close to dark i can see the picture there doesn't still look too bad you can if i move that if i move that it's not showing up yet no wrong yeah you can probably see aldi behind me <laughs> maybe it's not very good Oh, um, local jacks. What do you think? I'm I'm thinking about maybe starting an ASMR channel. <laughs> the reason I probably wouldn't put it on here is because I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people do like ASMR of all sorts, not just eating food, but a lot of people don't like it either. My son Liam doesn't like that sound at all. <laughs> and people are chewing. Yeah, every time I'm watching a video like yours, he says, "Turn it down, turn it down. I don't want to hear that." <laughs> so it's so funny. How it is in the background, Peter. And I've just been shopping in there. And that's another reason I've got to get home too. I've got frozen stuff in the back. I've got an ice brick in the bags, but I should be right till I get home anyway. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying, Elizabeth. I know, especially people that are on my channel, they probably, a lot of them wouldn't like it. But I was thinking of doing it as a separate channel, not a part of this. Just to do a couple of videos. I don't know if I'll ever do it, but... And then, you know, if it works out, I could incorporate the two or something, but maybe. In my backyard. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm going to set it up inside. I've actually got a black screen that I, I need to sort out. And I've, I, I've got a green screen. I don't know how to use it, but I've got the covers, the, the, the backgrounds for it. I've got a black, a white, and a green. But, and I've got lights. When I go live at home, that's what I'm using, the big lights from the green screen. And... Aviation Prav, you're back. Well, I'm going to have to go soon because uh, that's a devil's work. Okay, well, it's time for me to become a little devil, isn't it? Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to get going because I can hardly see you now. You can probably hardly see me. I wasn't planning on go being here this late. I didn't get moving. And then Elizabeth rang me before I was going, and my Elizabeth, and rang me. And then I was on the phone to her for half an hour, so I'm running late. So, guys, I'm going to have to get going, but don't worry. Like I said, I'll be eating that one later. No way I'm going to throw that away. Um, so, Elizabeth, thank you very much for that money. And I'm going to put that to a good cause. You'll know that that's going to go to help some kids who, um, part of that will go to help kids who have cancer. And Ronald McDonald's house over here, not just cancer. I think they have, there's like all sorts of um, issues with kids where they're having medical problems and they're in the hospital. And it helps their parents to be with them and all that sort of thing. So, really good cause. Guys, get behind 
Mac, happy day next Saturday, 16th of November. And remember, thanks for coming in. And remember, you can never be too Aussie. Uru. I'm oh, sorry I have to go, but it's getting late. <laughs> I'll try and go live again another time, guys. Catch you later. Maybe we should try and do a big happy day live. And we'll encourage people to do it. See you later, guys. Thanks for coming in. It's been great.